Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss director's notes for Season 3, Blooded Rhapsody, and New Hero Update. So, greetings from your director of EXO's Hero, so Yong Zun Choi. So, before I begin, I'd like to send out my sincerest apologies for regarding the inconvenience caused by the lack of care in informing you earlier about the incident of Air Squadron Battle. So, this has been a big uh, blunder on their part so from this note i'll be sharing the news about season 3 update contents for newcomers and several improvements that have been made to the game so i assume season 3 will be out in i think one or two weeks probably by the end of uh, end of january so let's move on so we have new blooded rhapsody this was teased already in some of the posts that i've seen so blah 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 <laughs> so after chapter 14 the first story of season 3 will begin will be open through chapter 15 okay so we have here carrie carrie is is in the middle so we'll see down here. I think we have a picture of them. So Carrie is on the left side. I think Nemeris is on the right side. And Jean Donc. Jean Donc, the king. Okay. Jean Donc is in the center. So the royals of Saint West who greet Zion will appear in the new heroes. You will be able to get a taste of their overbearing presence in chapter 14's last video. So new recruit added. So chance up added new chance. New hero, heroes chance up that was available through the nation recruit has been prepared through the separate chance up recruit. So you can meet the new heroes, carry Nemeris, John Dong that are being added to this update. I assume that they're a new nation because they're being added to the nation recruit. So again, new, new nation, new mechanics. Uh, a lot of things to look forward to. So, hero strength update guide. So, uh, a hero strengthening guide will be added to learn about the hero's weapon strengthening method within the hero strengthening guide. So, this is actually very good. So, we have prepared a hero with silver rated fate core in a variety of, of growth missions for you to work on. Um, Hero Strengthening Guide will be renewed on every season update with new Fate Core missions to allow new users to easily experience the charm of Exos Heroes has. Strengthen the newly prepared Café de Chat Astarte and go through stories collecting abundant amount of rewards. Okay, rewards, rewards. But um, this is good. This is a guide, a strengthening guide. And I see a Silver Rated Fate Core which can have actually the new mechanics as well so here is our new fate core rate it's silver added a new fate core rate silver will be added is a special rate solely for hero strengthening guide so i assume that the seal silver rated fate core will be used in the in the hero strengthening guide um and uh cafe de de chat the shot as a start will be given so if i actually have seen a a fco of a start being teased i don't have it right here but uh you will actually be seeing that um fc that uh, that was teased for a start a lot of people um did get it right it was a start because of her claws so you'll get to see her soon the silver fate core skill is made to help her clear stories okay so this is kind of interesting because we've had an orange fate core um help us clear clear garut and this one it will help you clear stories probably specific 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 abilities for stories that would be given as a bonus once you have this fate core in that story to clear that so Again, kind of good, kind of uh, um, not sure. Um, it depends on how it is really important to the game once it once it goes out. Um, I hope it's not as worthless as your orange fate core. 
So let's uh, let's move on. <laughs> it remains to be seen, actually. So director's intention. So we have prepared the new fate card as a gift to the original users and for newcomers to clear stories easily. Silver rate will be added with the hero strengthening guide on every season update. So I still have to, you know, get the correlation between the silver rate and the hero strengthening guide. So we'll see that once it comes out. Okay, for the title update, a new title function will be added to describe the achievements. You can automatically gain title if you clear certain achievements from the titles that you hold. Choose the one that you would want, would like to have shown. The, tit the set title is shown on the account information screen. Village Air Squadron Hideout. So not only competitive content such as the best Air, Embodiment of Avarice, Infinity Core, but also the various titles of interesting achievement is being prepared. I assume that for every title that you have, there's a certain bonus to it. Perhaps. I might be wrong. So I'm just being optimistic about this one. So for every title or every every time you reach an achievement, you advance to a certain title and it has a certain um, certain addition, certain skill effects, whatever could be. So that's just a speculation from my end. Next is your, your nation recruit improvements. So just to... To prevent such inconvenience from happening, we have changed the reset date to the first of the next month from the date that you have obtained the highest stage of Bindus Reward. We believe that this will help you freely use Nation Recruit tickets with uh, Nation Recruit with no worries about mileage resetting. So this is just an improvement if you have had this problem in terms of your Nation Recruit uh, reset of your mileages. Okay. Next would be Core Memory. So I was wondering actually when they would add a couple of a couple of FCs because um, my Lepin is actually at plus four or plus five already and I haven't seen her but now she's here. So she is together with Shufraken, Baraka, and Lepin and the other one is Rachel, Shakan, and Otard. Otard actually I have I think at plus three already so I'm looking forward to this as well. But this will be out sometime February 2021. Um, not saying it's going to be in the first week, but probably, probably not. <laughs> okay, so next would be your signature force. So stage three is finally opening for those of you um, whales out there. This is your chance to go further. But for us who are in the middle of the pack, um, I still have to still have to finish stage one. <laughs> most of my 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 heroes so um stage three will be far off for quite a while for me um this is actually interesting because um give it makes your heroes more powerful and, and the more reason now that you focus on one or two signature force that's it after you've after you've finished the first uh, first uh, damage for signature force uh, the, the first one then you can say for, for uh, the first one for all for all nations then you con uh, consider focusing on two or one signature force so that you could have a more powerful group the question is have you chosen the right signature force to to level up so right now for me for signature force um, you have uh, the leaders would be Wasted Red, you have Greenland, and you have Stories. Those are the three. Um, for Brun, it's only Dorka, so that you don't you know have have much heroes there to benefit from it. But those three that I mentioned earlier, they are the top, and I think you should focus on, especially if they're opening the higher stages already. Focus on one or two, um, because it's really hard to farm for generals. So next is daily mission content improvement. So what they're saying here is they're, they are um, taking out uh, one hero uh, one hero of element. Let's say for now you can enter the special difficulty with three heroes before it's four and lunatic difficulty with four before it was five. So they're taking out one hero uh, requirement 
uh, for this to be more easier, I think it's about time because um, a lot of beginning uh, beginners or new players are actually struggling with this one. I think um, they should be given that you know that option to to progress through the game more faster. So also to maximize the convenience that. Uh, of having to move much uh, dungeons we have added the team suggest function on quick battle okay so for eternal bond our next eternal bond would be between rachel and battery and most of you i guess are getting battery most probably some are great at getting rachel because of the new fc april so it's a toss up but I, I'm betting that most of you guys are getting battery. Me too, I'm getting battery. I've, I think that um, Rachel's um, nation still needs a lot of work. Uh, but to each his own. Um, it's up to you on what you, you know, uh, what you build for your account. Actually, when I start, uh, when I first started this game, I built my Rachel already. I used to bring Rachel that much, but not now because um, of the meta that has shifted for PvP. But anyway, to each his own. So Bathory and Rachel for our next Eternal Bond. So package shop improvements. Um, for the package shop, um, I'm not sure if uh, most of the improvements are good. Most of them are just temporary and... and um, I want good um, shop improvements that are permanent in the game, not just a special event, not just a special package. So I hope um, they do this seriously. And for your content in improvements, you have skip extra recruit effect, uh, removal of few effects to door creation. So to make the, the game more faster, um, lessen the effects. Um, too much effects actually drags the game. So good. Manage heroes in inventory. So I think they will have a different inventory or managing system for changing the garden stones of your gear. But you can still change them in the door creation. So this is good because it's really hard to find the right gear for the right hero to change your garden stones frankly it's been sometimes you just have to be, have a good memory to to remember what it looks like and what what the color was but this is good to at least give give the players um less headache in terms of searching for the right gear of the right hero okay for your journal so they will be adding the nation as well that's for your journal exos Exos pass. They will be adding a receive all for all the um, for all the rewards that you'll be collecting. You pierce labyrinth. Made changes as well, so you can use the X2 button and auto button on the right top corner times two. Skip function in tutorial section. This will be good for those who are re-rolling, re-rolling their first hero. You'll be able to stop the tutorial se uh, section because usually the tutorial section uh, comes before the, the the role for the first hero. So this is a good one. Wog run fast improvements. So we reduce the matching time for multiplayer. Yes, please reduce the matching time for multiplayer because I don't play it because it you know takes time. And for the closing comments. To finish off, we would like to announce the growth direction of rank equipment. So this has been this has been talked about and teased because it has been a discussion in the in some of the groups in Exos that there is a rank two coming out. So currently, the use of rank one equipment, you need to use the level sixty faded armor on all parts and continue the hero weakening. In this process, all the equipment that you use vanishes, six stars reduced to one, and the equipment slots have to be left vacant until you obtain rank one equipment. The combat power would have been risen to, uh, due to hero awakening, but there are some situations where the hero's function could not be demonstrated 100%. A lot of you have raised opinions during the 
Regarding this issue, we also decided that the current rank equipment system has been somewhat disappointing. It's not somewhat disappointing. It's actually disappointing because it's really hard. It's actually a pain just to level up your 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 faded gear, uh, just to have the right guardian stone and have them destroyed. So it's not disappointing. It's, a, it's very disappointing. So therefore, from rank two, we're considering the way of having spent a certain material within the previous rank equipment to upgrade. So please think about this more because don't give the players a hard time just by upgrading to rank two because uh, right now, most haven't even finished uh, giving all of their heroes rank one. Now you're bring out, you know, rank two. So please think about this and how you're going to implement this, please. Furthermore, season two is starting with a new update. So blah blah blah. So anyway, um, my thoughts on the update is that um, well, it's it's more of um, it's more of improving the game in terms of user interface, um, improving how players interact with the game, but. I would wish that they would bring in more permanent content, game modes that are good, not just your, not just your quantum raid. We don't like that and we don't want it seasonal. We want it permanent. So please put out great content, fixed content that players can play aside from the usual that you have rolled out already. So anyway guys um those are my thoughts i'm happy with with the with the improvements in the way of uh way of life of or the improvements in how players interact with the game but again i would appreciate it more if they would put out more content game modes that are good game modes that are interesting game modes like um game modes like the dragon so those similar game modes where you have big bosses, those will be very welcome. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Put your comments below on what you think about the new Season 3 Director's Notes and the upcoming update. So again, you all stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out.